Welcome to Web Certain TV, I'm Gemma Houghton. Today my guest is Owen Hen, founder of SearchView, and we're going to be talking about the slightly controversial topic of geotargeting and GTLDs and CCTLDs. Hi Owen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So I say controversial topic because it's something that has quite a lot of debate in the industry. Why do you think it is such a controversial topic and why is it such an important topic? I wish I knew why, why it's so controversial and also why there's such an emotional debate about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess one of the reasons is that it's extremely difficult to find um, one absolute truth about it. Yeah. Um, the question being um, whether there are certain ranking signals that are more easily shared by pages that are hosted on the same domain or subdomain mm -hmm. than by pages that are hosted on different domains or subdomains. Um, Google avoids to publish um, information or mm -hmm. statements about, about the yeah. question. They, like you ask them and they reply to a different question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, there's different opinions and for some reason um, people get very upset about the whole question. Yeah. So the approach that you've been discussing um, recently is about actually migrating from CCTLDs or separate country domains for each each country version and moving that to a, a global TLD with different language versions. Why has that approach for you seemed like a, a good one or why does it work for some businesses? Well, I believe that um, once you merge your different country versions onto one shared international domain, mm -hmm. that they actually share positive ranking signals with each other, yeah. so they benefit from each other. And um, I believe that in a setting where they're hosted on different domains, they're pretty isolated, so every domain is fighting for itself. Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the main issue, that's the main advantage. And then there are other advantages, obviously. There are also some disadvantages. Um, another advantage would be maintenance and project management. Yeah. It's, I think it's probably easier to, to handle a website, even if it has lots of different versions, to handle a website that's just on one domain. Yeah. Um, there might be disadvantages, although that's also debatable. Um, I'm, I'm actually fascinated by the fact that so many people just keep repeating the statement that users prefer CCTLDs. Mm. It's like, that's something that people just accept as an absolute truth. Yeah. While I believe it's, it's also debatable, right? Yeah. But it's just something that people just take as a given fact, mm -hmm. you know, and they just keep saying it again and again and again. And I wonder, I wonder why everybody's so convinced by, by that. I'm, I'm sure there's something to it, but yeah. then again, like, do users really care whether they're clicking on a .de or a .fr or a .es domain or on a .com domain? Like, yeah. we as SEO people do That's care. We, we, we look at all those small yeah. little details and but for the majority of people, right, they wouldn't yeah. even know what a domain is, I think. Is so that's something I would, yeah. I would question too. Mm -hmm. I, I would really like to know if that's really the fact. And one thing I find interesting is that people that bring forward that argument normally mention Germany as an example. Mm -hmm. They say, German people want DE domains. And I grew up in Germany and I'm not sure whether German people want DE domains. I'm, yeah. I, I've never wanted the e-domains. <laughs> so. One thing's for sure, it's important to have locally relevant content so that the page they go to is tailored for them, it's got local information and that kind of thing, but perhaps... Of course, yeah. Whether if, you, if, you see, if, you, if you see a snippet that has, well, German language, maybe mm -hmm. even the word Germany in the, in the title or meta description or yeah. whatever, or it's immediately obviously that the online shop you're looking at or the business you're looking at delivers to Germany or whatever. Yeah. Has prices in the right that's, currency. That that's kind of really thing. important, but yeah. is it really important whether it's a DE or a .com domain or whatever other domain? I'm, yeah. I'm not sure about that. So if a business is deciding that they're going to consolidate and, and move into this approach, a single domain approach, what things should they put in place from the very start to make sure that they minimize any impact, of, the negative impact of it? The first thing you should do is risk assessment. So you, you need to calculate what you might lose if things go wrong, mm -hmm. or even what you're going to lose in any case, because um, every domain switch means that you're, it's probably going to hurt you in, in the short term mm -hmm. or in your strongest markets. So you should 
very, very carefully calculate whether the potential gains that you're expecting are going to compensate for that short-term loss you're going to have. Because a new, a new domain always needs to um, establish some kind of authority yeah. or, or trust um, before it's able to pick up the rankings mm -hmm. that your old domains had or Im improve them. Um, and also, domain switches always involve redirecting all of your URLs, and redirects normally lead to a loss in relevance of ranking signals. Mm -hmm. um, so once you've, once you've decided that the potential short-term losses can be compensated by the potential long-term or mid-term gains, mm -hmm. um, you, you need a decent and good migration plan. Yep. It's probably, it would be too much to talk about all of the details of, of such a migration mm -hmm. plan in, yeah. in this uh, sh short interview, but um, it's important to involve um, SEO right from the beginning yeah. in, 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 this, in, the, in the whole migration mm -hmm. progress and um, to, to have a very good um, project plan to um, involve all of the different stakeholders yeah. in, in the discussion and to make SEO a priority. Yeah. I guess a domain merger doesn't have to be driven by SEO. There, there are other good reasons to, yeah. to consolidate your different country domains into, into a global domain, like branding, for example. Yeah. It's, it's good to have an internationally branded domain, mm -hmm. like yourbrand.com. Yeah. Um, but SEO should be something that, that's considered right from the start. Yeah, and this isn't something you can do quickly or in a rush. It's something that needs to be thought through very carefully and and properly put into place, otherwise it would potentially cause damage. Right. And then what about the other side of things? Because there are certain situations where perhaps moving to this one consolidated domain wouldn't be a great idea for some businesses. Mm. What are some of the, the things that might mean that mm. CCTLD is a better approach? Mm. Um, well, some there are some countries where it's probably beneficial to have a local country domain, mm -hmm. which are normally either countries where Google isn't the dominating search engine. So yeah. um, I can't say this for certain, but I'm, I believe that in Russia or China, for example, it's best yeah. to have a .ru or a .cn yeah. domain. So if, 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 if those are your target markets or two of your important markets, yeah. um, it might be best to keep your, your local CCTLDs mm -hmm. in, in those countries. Um, also, there are obviously brands or businesses with, with multiple brands in different markets that wouldn't be able to merge all of their country domains into, yeah. into, one, local, uh, into one global domain because that would mean rebranding in, in mm -hmm. certain markets. Um, and then, in some cases, merging all of your country domains into one brand, in, into one global brand, wouldn't, um, wouldn't have any um, SEO benefits if the different country domains haven't been able to build up any trust or relevancy signals. Yeah. So if you're trying to just um, spread out your, 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 your relevance from your domestic market to other markets where you've been struggling for, for years, um, mm. that might go wrong because yeah. y y there's, there's nothing that can be shared between, between the different versions. There's just one strong version and um, you're, you're basically just um, spreading out um, your ranking signals over more markets instead instead of different markets sharing their positive ranking signals and benefiting from each other. So that might also be a case where it, it, it wouldn't have any positive impact or it would do harm because you're creating a new domain and you, you might lose in your domestic market and not have any significant gains anywhere else. So again, this really goes back to the risk assessment you were talking about that you need to look at each individual case, you need to see what you're already doing, what, what the implications might be, and, and make sure you're making the right decision. Absolutely. And if, I guess the advice would also be, even if you are going to the GTLD approach, that you want to keep hold of your CCTLD domain names so that you still own those and you can use them again in the future or you at least prevent other people from doing so. Absolutely. You, you, you need to keep your domains, not just for the reasons you mentioned, mm -hmm. but also in order to keep the redirects working. Yeah. They have to, they have to keep working forever basically, yeah. especially the ones that have external links pointing to them mm -hmm. or that 
the ones the URLs that are still requested by users or bots yeah. or whoever need to need to keep redirecting to, mm -hmm. to your new domain. And there's also nothing wrong with continuing to use your local CCTLDs and brand communications or whatever. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with um, put mentioning a .de domain in a in a, in a in an advertising campaign on TV yeah. or wherever, and then redirecting to a .com slash DE, for example. Yeah. Again, it's down to having, as long as the content you're sending people to is relevant and appropriate, then you should be, right. you should be okay. Any final tips or any other things we haven't covered that you think are really important to mention? Well, if we get back to what we mentioned in the, be in the beginning about the, the heated debate and everything, I think one tip would be to um, be open-minded, accept the fact that there are different opinions on certain mm -hmm. things. Um, that's really what makes SEO so fascinating and so so interesting that um, you're, you're constantly searching for a truth that you will never find. Yeah. You constantly have to challenge your own beliefs, really, because yeah. like no, nothing. I, I'm I'm not gonna believe in anything I'm saying today, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm gonna question it. Yeah. And I'm gonna stay critical and and try to. Yeah. And things change so much that approaches have to change to keep up with them. Right, yeah. yeah. So um, I think that attitude would help lots of people mm -hmm. be better SEOs and also um, be kinder to each other, you know, because there's really no need to to start fights about subdomains <laughs> versus subdirectories. No. It's it's totally insane um, <laughs> fighting about that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's, it's better to try to learn from, from different opinions and um, try to evolve. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for sharing yours today. It was great to talk to you. Thanks to you. Thanks.